Hi, this is uh, a video on a strange aberration which you can find sometimes with LEDs. This is an LED 8 wood Bonilux uh, dimmable LED. It is unusual in the sense that it doesn't have any sort of circuitry, that, or at least that I can see, inside it, um, such as smoothing cap or um, a, you know, sort of resistor network or the various things that you often do see in LEDs and you'll notice that uh, even in the off position it's lit dimly but still lit. Now I'll switch it on just so you can see what it's like when it's switched on. Um, the strobing that you see is because the light itself does actually strobe um, and if we switch it back you can see that again it's dimly lit. Now if I show you against another 8 watt LED, which is the Mini Sun. This is a non-dimmable. Um, you can see in the off position, it's not lit at all. In the on position, um, it's again, it's an 8 watt LED. There's no strobing at all on this. I, I quite like these and I recommend them. Um, but anyway, the reason why I wanted to show this is because of this particular aberration, which is caused by the configuration of the lighting. Now let me put this back into the off and we'll just take a look um, at the ceiling rose itself. Now this is the ceiling rose and this is a, uh, a typical British ceiling rose what it looks like but it's been wired strangely and the reason for that is because this is normally configured for switched live. So the live is switched and the bulb is permanently connected to the neutral side of things. That's the normal configuration that you expect in the UK. Now what I've done is I've changed that setup because I wanted to have a switch neutral. And with a switch neutral sometimes you get this, this strange effect. And essentially what it's like is if you have an electrician screwdriver such as this, um, and I was to put that onto the live, you can see that LED, well it's not an LED, it's a neon, and it's lighting when I touch the back of it. And that's because um, the live wire is capacitively coupling through the, um, the electrician screwdriver, and uh, it's essentially radiating energy from me, from my body, and that's why it's lit. Now in this particular case, you can see that the, the live wire here, which is on the brown, is connected to the pendant itself. So let me go um, and come back out so you can see it a little more clearly but to play. So what we have here is the, the live wire is actually going into the pendant and it's going, so it's permanently connected to one side of the LED and the other side is going through this red wire here which is the one side of the switch it's coming back through the black wire which is the other side of the switch and it's looped in this particular orange wire um, into the neutral so effectively what's happening is it's switching the neutral so the, the neutral uh, is going to the switch and it's being switched at that point so essentially we have uh, the live connected to this, but in the off position, uh, the energy essentially would mean that the whole neutral side, um, this blue wire, up until the point where it reaches the break in the switch itself, will go live. And that, a bit like the electrician screwdriver, is like me touching the end of it, and it's radiating, and it's radiating within the, the actual switch um, conduit uh, network itself and that is allowing just enough energy to actually light uh, a, a bulb. Now if I had an ordinary light bulb in there, the because the tungsten requires so much more energy to show any sort of lighting, it, it basically you'd see nothing. And in this particular case where you have um, a network here so there's a capacitor in there which I believe is acting like a shunt, like a bypass. So um, it's never getting to the point where it has enough voltage to actually light it even dimly. So I'll take that out. Now what I want to show is um, when I change this, 
So it's then going to switch uh, live that you will see a difference. So let me just put this on pause and we can then see that again. And we're back. So now I've changed it. So it's going from uh, the neutral line is connected to one side of the bar. The other side is going to the black wire here, which is the one side of the switch. The other side of the switch, which is coming back, is in the red wire. And let me just a little bit more of a close up of that so you can see how it's changed. So the brown wire goes um, from this, goes into the black wire, which is the switch, comes back to the blue, um, which is the other side, which is the permanent connection to the mains neutral. The other side, which is where the switch goes, um, is the red wire, which goes through this orange loop uh, into the mains, which is the brown wire here on that side there. So essentially this is what's called a switched live. And in this particular case, this is the cosmic which I had earlier, which was glowing. And as you can see, in the off position, it is no longer glowing. So you can see the bulb is no longer glowing. So that's switched on. As you can see, it's strobing like it was before. Um, and switched off nothing, whilst before it was glowing. And this is the... Cosnake, so it's not the Cosnake, this is the Mini Sun, and um, again, if I switch that on, you can see that it's, it's acting normally. They're both acting exactly the same way and the way I would expect it to act. So, hopefully, um, this shows the aberration and explains the aberration slightly. Thank you very much for watching, and until uh, next time.